Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Adam with AK Lighting here to help you install and or improve your own landscape lighting. Well, today's video, I'm gonna go over an install we did in the front yard. The customer already had lights on his house and we were adding lights on the landscaping. With both combined, the install looked absolutely beautiful. Stay tuned at the end of the video where I show you what it looks like at night. With that being said, I'm gonna jump right into the video. Now before I jump into the video, I wanna go over a smart plug. So this customer had purchased the Casa smart plug and it plugs into his outlet in his transformer so he's able to control the lights at night through his phone. And also he's able to control the lights in the front of his house through the switch here and it all goes to this app on his phone. There are a lot of other companies out there that have smart plugs but feel free to check it out. With that being said, I'm gonna jump right into the video. All right, so I'm gonna go over the design of this house. So he already has lights attached to the wall of his house, so he didn't want any lights up. His house looks pretty decent with those lights, but personally, if I were him, I would cap them and then put landscape lighting on the house, especially because on the pillar right here and this wall all the way up to that, that peak there's no lights. See, there's no lights attached to that down here, whereas there's some right there. So this right here is gonna be completely dark. Um, so he's gonna have two lights that way, three lights over there shining up. I don't think they light up the second story, or I guess maybe even the, like the third story peak. We have two path lights here. There are two rocks, I'll show you. There's this rock and rock over here you want to place path lights if you have rocks in your flower bed um, it smaller ones like this it really makes the the light reflect off the rocks and it kind of pops we have a smaller light here it's an mr11 bulb um, as this tree grows he'll change it to an mr16 bulb so i just have a mr11 inside the mr16 fixture you can see how tiny that is uh, we have two path lights on each side of the, the, the pathway. There's one over here at this tiny tree. There's a light here on this tree. And then a path light here. There's a little walkway. And then um, an up light right here on this bigger tree. So one of the obstacles that we constantly face here in Texas are these retaining walls. So here I'm working on this retaining wall. So you need to dig the grass out and start digging low enough that you can get underneath there. Now this retaining wall is a little a bit lower than usual, so it's harder to get underneath. A lot of times if I just can't, I'll drill right here and just run the wire um, through the, the cement grout right here and, and then put like a copper piece. So just in case the grass starts moving away that the, the wire won't get damaged. We already dug here, so we did we dug on this side and dug a hole on the other side and then fished the wire through. Here's that path light. He really liked these uh, bigger path lights, a little bit more expensive. And so he has these ones, kind of showcase it by the door, and then he got these other path lights that kind of blend in the mulch um, so they're kind of out of the way if you're interested in learning what lights I use in all of these videos just click the link below and get that PDF thanks for watching this video best of luck with your landscape lighting project and I'll see you in the next video